You are back with me in my Porsche 991.2 Turbo S on five things I hate, five things I really don't like that slightly bug me about my Turbo S. And I don't want this to come across as me complaining about this car that I'm lucky enough to drive. The number one thing that frustrates me with it, and I think it's going to be the most popular criticism of the Turbo S, is the noise. The exhaust noise of this car is disappointing. Second thing that I find slightly annoying with this is, you know, obviously it is a supercar, it comes with the price tag of a supercar and often what you're paying for with a supercar is the performance and therefore the engine. It is so cramped into the rear of this car, like all 911s, the engine is in the back. You have a tiny little engine hood, engine bay area that you can lift up, but when you lift that up, you don't see anything. Third thing is one that confuses me a little bit more because obviously this car was developed so much with the ultimate daily driver supercar in mind, but they clearly forgot to really, really focus on the suspension. My fourth point, and if you're really, really going for it and you come into a corner quick like this, especially downhill, you can tend to get a little bit of understeer. Now for my fifth five things I hate about this car, I decided to put together a bunch of little nitty gritty things, which are really not very important, but that when I was struggling to come up with things, uh, I thought of first of which are the lack of buttons down here. Second thing, practical thing, I don't know if that's only my car, but there seems to be a delay in the parking sensors, which is slightly frustrating. 